we were fishing in October and into a really good run of fish. Uh, my buddy and I had figured out where some fish were that nobody else was getting and we were catching 30 pounders every night. We had fish over 30 for three nights in a row. Um, on the fourth night, uh, the wind had turned against us a little bit and we really couldn't fish where we were so we had to try something different. Um, we went to a spot that we regularly fished but it was pretty rough water. So um, we fished for two hours, got beat up uh, with eels, didn't get a single touch. Um, I got knocked off a rock. I was like, let me try something different. So the water was so rough that you couldn't retie when you're on the rock. You had to come inside to retie. So I came in um, to put on a needlefish. And my buddy comes in after me. He's like, we leaving? He's like, no, 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 I'm, I'm still fishing. I'm going to make a few casts with a needlefish. He's like, well, I'm not leaving without you. Um, so get back out on the rock, make about three casts, and the plug stops. It was pretty rough, and the rock I was fishing was in over my head. Um, as soon as I hooked up on this fish, I, I didn't know what I had, but I got knocked off the rock. So now I'm in the water, in over my head, with waves crashing on me, and every time a wave would come, the white water would break in front of me, I'd get smashed, I'd be on the water, I'd be moving backwards, the drag would be running, I think I was running on the fish more than he was running on me. So I was getting pushed back, eventually I got my feet under me where I could feel the bottom, and at that point, I felt like, oh, this is a heavy fish. So I started working him in, working him in. And by that time, he'd been on the line long enough. He, the fish came in between two rocks, didn't run side to side, which really saved me because I was in the rocks and I was pretty far back now. Got the fish up to me. I was like, wow, that's a big fish. So um, I put him on my scale and the scale clanked to the bottom. It was a manly 50-pound scale and the thing hit rock bottom on the, on the scale. So um, still had the fish on the needle fish, on the leader, grabbed the fish on the leader, led him like a puppy dog over to where my friend was. And I said, Scott, you gotta help me weigh this fish. He's like, Manny, we're fishing. I'm like, Scott, this, how, how big was it? He's like, he bottomed out my scale. So he comes off the rock, um, helps me weigh the fish. He had to stand on a rock to get the fish completely out of the water. Cause the first time he weighed it, a uh, good part of the tail was still in the water. He says it's only 46 pounds. So um, he put it up, he stood up on a rock. I passed him the fish and he marked it off on his scale. It's like, I got it. It's like, okay. So um, at that point, the needlefish falls out of the fish's mouth. The fish is, had been in the water a long time, a couple times out of the water. So I start to revive the fish and start um, working my way into a little bit of deeper water. And the fish was not really dead, but not reviving real quick. It took me a little while to revive them. And um, we got hit by a wave, me and the fish. Fish fell out of my hands. I went to grab again and she pulled out of my hand and dove into the next coming wave and I got knocked off my feet. So we went back and checked the scale. The mark on the scale was a little groove at the bottom of the manly scales. Um, somewhere around 57, 58 pounds.